you know, I'm just going to say it now. This review is going to be a fail review. Of People still say fail, right? Come on, I'm still hip. Well, I mean, then again, I remember when WAP was the kind of browser that you would use on a mobile device with limited text display functionality. You know, like a WAP browser. Now WAP is, um, don't Google it. Anyway, <laughs> this is the Cassette Insert Game Pocket Computer in 194. Excuse me, what? <laughs> what? In. This isn't the out version, this is the in version. Sure. So it's got 194 Famicom games built in, and it's a little handheld device. Looks a little familiar though, doesn't it? Yeah, totally not trying to jump on the Switch bandwagon or anything there. FC, you know, Famicom, or NES, as you may know it by. Oh cool, it's the same on the back. <laughs> so here's all the color schemes it comes in. It comes in Switch Blue and Orange, Switch Green and Pink, or Switch Gray and Gray. Somebody was inspired by the Switch. And like that other video I did, uh, what was that, the Pocket? Yeah, the Pocket game, the one that looked like a PlayStation controller. This box is all in Japanese. So, I don't know, is, is Japan getting in on the cheap electronic crap scene now? Do they want this? Did they ask for this? Well, it's in Japanese, so they're getting it whether they wanted it or not. And, uh, you know, I'll get into why it's a fail review, don't worry. So then, we have a box here. Ugh. So, we have our inst- oh. Huh, it's thick, glossy paper, again, like the pocket game. Does Japan get better electronic crap than we do? And again, here's a list of all the games, and what appears to be a short description of it, but I can't read Japanese, so there you go. The plot of Fish Story will forever remain a mystery, until someone translates it for me. More Japanese on the bottom, and there's the other half of the games on the side there. Now, I find that picture funny, just that big blank area in the middle there. I really think they wanted this to go a different route, but either chickened out or cheaped out in the end. I mean, first of all, we got composite, but then again, it's... Famicom, so I'm not expecting much, but <laughs> good luck finding a TV nowadays that has composite inputs natively on it without needing some kind of adapter or even having a spot for an adapter to go in. Or you might have to buy an HD, um, composite HDMI up converter. Who knows? Now, I originally thought that this was going to be some sort of portable device in the sense that it had a screen here where you can actually, you know, uh, see the game. No, this is a sticker. <laughs> this is a sticker. This whole thing is one sticker from the blue to the red and everything in between. Look, there's no seam. It's just one sticker. And it's really chunky, too. But I, I guess there's kind of a reason for that. Because it actually has a Famicom cartridge slot. So, there's the AV in, uh, output there. So it's got the 194 built-in games, but you could also put in a Famicom game and play your own. Now, I don't actually own any Famicom games. All mine are of the US of A variety, what with the 72 pins, not the 60. And there's not even an option to plug it into the main uh, power supply. It's battery only, four AAAs, and that's it. Quality control passed. Good. And to be frank, this feels really cheap. I mean, these buttons feel like, they really feel like a pop station. It's, well, the D-pad actually pivots, I'll give it that, but man, is that some thin plastic. The whole thing is thin plastic. The buttons, God, it feels like you're pressing into nothing, and then you just hit like a brick wall of solid. It's so, I, I feel like I could s snap this thing. But I'm not going to because, hmm. yeah, screw it. I'm going to do a giveaway for this. <laughs> I don't want this thing. I'm not going to hook it up to a capture card, hook it up to the TV, and show you guys the games on it. Because let's be real, it's just going to be the same 8-bit Famicom, blah, blah, blah. It looks like there's a mix of, let me look at the game list here. Yeah, there's a, there's a variety of actual 
Famicom games combined with those cheap 8-bit games that you get and all those other handhelds, like the Pocket game. Okay, so I was looking on here for some examples. That looks like a legit Famicom wrestling game. Uh, that is Donkey Kong Jr. right there with a sprite swap. It looks like the kid from Brush Roller uh, taking the role of Donkey Kong. Oh, look at this. Look at this up here. I like this. Bandits? That's Donkey Kong 3. But Donkey Kong is now some guy in a cape? What? <laughs> so, yeah. It's a mix of original homebrew stuff and actual Famicom ROM hacks. But I was hoping I could show this in front of the camera and be like, Oh, here's the games on it. Aren't they funny? But no. I dug it out of the box and was disappointed by a stupid sticker. <laughs> and at that point of disappointment, you really just don't want to hook it up to the TV anymore. It's like, what's the point? It's probably not even going to emulate the sound correctly anyway. Super Mario will probably sound off-key. All the usual suspected flaws. I don't want it. <laughs> I don't want it in my house anymore. So, ah, we got to think of a way to do a giveaway for this. Um, hmm. How about... How about just leave a comment uh, saying, Yes, I want this. And put how you're feeling today. There we go. I don't know, what am I, a psychiatrist? I don't know, but I, I do like hearing from you guys. That's why I stream every week, too, because I like hanging out with you guys every week. And remember this guy? I figured this is such a short video, and it's a fail on its own. Let's look at him. So this handheld is called the... It doesn't have a name. And I'm not making a joke like, oh, I threw out the packaging. The packaging had the name on No. The packaging was a clear plastic bag. <laughs> no name. It's just, and again, 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 we're copying the PSP. Why? The PSP's not relevant anymore. Look, we got the sound button with that little, what was that, a speaker grill on the original PSP? No, they were down here. I don't remember. But we got what's obviously supposed to emulate the joystick, but now it's just a giant start button. D-pad's exactly the same, only worse. You got your four action buttons. Fake shoulder buttons up here. Uh, why, why are they still copying the PSP? Is that supposed to fool anybody? Is that the Mega Man 6 stage select song? I was trying to turn the volume down. I, I don't know, I can't remember. So anyway, you pick Chinese or English. English. Oh, I gotta press start down here. Okay. And then you get your game list. <gasps> it's the game I was looking for on the... Turn the volume down. It's the game I was looking for on the pocket game. Angry Birds. Except now, apparently, it's just the one. The others went to anger management school. So now it's just... Oh, oh, no. Now it's all of them again. There's the plural. So this is the Angry Birds Famicom game. Select episode. Oh, God. Somewhere, someone out there in the world, this is what they thought the original Angry Birds was. Someone out there thought it was an actual Famicom release. And I took out a single pig. I am master of the universe. I took out all the piggies. Clear. Okay. You can't skip this scroll, by the way. Ow! I think that music actually gave me a legitimate headache. What else we got on here? Hit start. It's the same old 268 and 1. Who knows if that's true? Who cares if it's true? Let's check out Super Mario B. Wow, we're not even taking out the title or the copyright nowadays. We're just putting the regular old vanilla ROM in there, aren't we? Oh, remember what I said about inaccurate sound emulation? Here you go. That song is way too fast. But the speed of the game is normal. And the song is a higher pitch, too. It has a one-up sound. 
The sound of that one-up mushroom made me sad. <laughs> I'm keeping this, though. Still giving away that thing, though. So there's your fail review. <laughs> what I thought was going to be a cheap piece of plastic slab with a screen on it was just that minus the screen. So long, everybody. Thank you guys so much for watching, and a huge thank you to the Patreon donors listed below. You guys are super awesome, wouldn't be able to do it without the support from all of you guys. And if you haven't checked it out yet, Patreon link's down below in the description. There's links to Discord and Twitch also, live streaming every Tuesday on Twitch. Come join us.